Welcome to Lady Boss Unplugged. This is Molly Richards, your host. I am beyond excited to empower you to overcome life's obstacles, to form new healthy habits, to cultivate a growth mindset, as well as bring in some super cool guests who will share their own kind of magic with you. Oh, did I mention we'll have fun too? Heck yes, we will. Join me for weekly, unfiltered, raw, real, and encouraging conversations that inspire transformative change, that give you the tools to create a positive domino effect in every aspect of your life, and just have fun hanging out. Now, let's get unplugged. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? It's your host, Molly Richards. Welcome to Lady Boss Unplugged. Episode number two, the title of this episode is Make a Summer Joy List, not a bucket list, a joy list. I'm super excited to share this with you. Once again, I want to express gratitude to you for joining me for this podcast, for subscribing to our podcast and being part of our family. I'm so happy that you are here. Before I get started and share about making not just a bucket list, but a joy list, I wanted to share something about how to fit podcasts into your life, how to fit personal development into your life, because trust me, from experience, it will make you a stronger, happier, more confident person when you can plug in every day to some sort of self-help personal development. I'm telling you, 20 years ago, I learned about it and it has changed my life. I went from really searching for answers um, for myself, for my life, and I would have days where I lacked confidence or I, I just didn't know what to do. Uh, learning about podcasts and audibles and personal development and then plugging that into my daily life has been a game changer for real. Um, and like you know, this whole podcast is about being real and being raw. And I can tell you that before I discovered personal development, which a lot of this podcast will be for you, I just really struggled. And since then, I just, I'm on fire. And it's the days that I plug in, which days that end in Y for me, every single day I listen to something. I just know that it, it just breathes energy into me and life into me. And really, especially on those days where I start to have self-doubt or I feel just blah. Do you ever have those days? I think we all do. Uh, plugging into something daily or at least weekly will help change your life. Um, and so with that being said, I want to tell you how I consume my podcasts and my audibles. Uh, you know, each day I got to put on my face, as my grandma used to say. That saying drives some people crazy, but it is what I say. Uh, so each day when I'm putting on my makeup or blow drying my hair or on a walk or even driving my car, I will put on a podcast because it just helps me multitask. And I do love music. I'm obsessed with music, but I got to fuel my soul and my brain and my heart before any of that. So in the morning when I'm getting ready, I do put my AirPods in my ears or I use my, especially if I'm blow drying my hair, or I just put on the speaker of my phone and I listen to something uh, that will that I know that I need. So I do subscribe to certain podcasts that are just my go-tos. I also uh, even use a Bible app every day. That's just for me, for my faith. Or I, if I'm listening to an Audible book and learning something, that's what I listen to. But it's the coolest thing, especially when you're blow drying your hair. I'd rather listen to someone uh, share with me and teach me than to hear the blow dryer, right? Um, as well as when I'm on a walk, I will listen to something and it is just the best. So if you're wondering, oh gosh, I, I don't even like, how are you fitting this? How am I fitting this in? Life's already busy. That's what works for me. So it might work for you. I forgot to share that in episode one. So like I said, we are doing episode two. So thank you so much for subscribing. Um, many of you have shared episode one with friends. We are so grateful to you. And um, if you want to leave a review, that would be amazing. So this episode is super fun for me to talk about. So it actually made me think when I, my daughter sent me pictures of her and her friends writing out their summer bucket list the other day. They do this every year. They've probably done it for the last like three, four years. And they they get a bunch of crafts. They all have dinner together. And they make them really, really cute, by the way. Um, and I was like, I love the idea of a bucket list. What if we took it a step further and we made a summer joy list? Because 
as adults, as moms, as women, as just we get older and busier, we forget about creating joy, right? We get so busy that we just think that joy is going to come. And then all of a sudden we're lacking joy and we're like, what just happened? It's like, I know for sure that we have to plan for joy. We actually have to take action to make that joy happen in our lives. And so why not make a summer joy list? You know, January 1st comes and we all sit down and we write out our New Year's resolutions, right? We write out all these big goals that we want to do. We want to lose weight. We want to walk every day. We want to fit into a certain size. We want to go on this to this place on vacation. We want to earn this amount of money. We want to spend more time with our kids. We want to be more patient. This is basically from my list. <laughs> we want to be romantic, more romantic with our spouse. We want to whatever it is, right? I mean, for me, it was like, I just wanted to make sure my gut was healthier, being personal here. I wanted to uh, look younger. I wanted to take better care of my skin. Uh, I wanted to, you know, do more volunteer work. I wanted to be more involved with Lady Boss. Hello, look, that goal happened, right? Doing this podcast. But also like we don't just sit down and go, what will bring us joy? Like I said, it doesn't just happen. Joy takes effort. And so now we are in the middle of, well, the beginning of summer. And so why not sit down for a little bit and write out your joy list? Guess what? I would love to help you with that. So grab a pen and a pad of paper or just the notes of your phone, um, especially if you're listening to this, maybe putting on your makeup, putting on your face or uh, blow drying your hair or you're on a walk. I always like pull over when I'm on a walk, like, like I have a blinker or something like that. And I'm like, Arr! I got to get over <laughs> and take notes on my phone when I'm listening to something. So maybe you could do that too. But I'm going to ask you some questions and kind of guide you through this so that you can create joy and have the most joyful summer. And then what's going to happen, and I know this for sure, is when you do this, a lot of those activities and those actions that you take will become habits that will then go into the rest of the year. Hello, who doesn't want to have a more joyful year? Okay, so let's do this. I have a question. So what do you want more of in your life right now? What lights you up? What lights you up? What brings you joy? Like what makes you smile? What makes you happy? What makes you excited? What are those things? Like what are those activities? I'm going to give you some ideas in just a minute, but I want you to think about this for you first. What fuels you? What fills you? What fills your life with meaning? What makes you go like, yes, yes. What are those things? What makes your days better or brighter? What do you want to do with your time? And who do you want to spend that time with? Who are those people that bring you joy? What do you want to work on? How do you want to move your body? Make this list. Okay, so I'm going to give you some of my ideas. If you want some ideas, sometimes I'll be working on something with someone. I'm like, well, tell me what you put. And then I'm going to kind of cheat or you'll inspire me. And so I'm going to give you some ideas. So what do I want more of? I want less stress, right? So that's going to create more joy. So I have to take some things out of my life that I'm doing. What lights me up? You know what lights me up? We are in Southern California right now this summer. And what lights me up is waking up every morning, having coffee and throwing on clothes and some flip flops. And we're really close to the beach. So walking over to the beach, putting my toes in the sand, that brings me joy, so much joy. If I see dolphins in the water, more joy. Um, but what puts a smile on my face? Seeing my kids more often, seeing my eight siblings more often, being able to hug my mom as much as possible. What makes my days better? Conversation with my husband, snuggle time with him, connection with him. Who do I want to spend my time with? My kids, my husband, my family, my friends. And what do I want to work on? I want to work on being a healthier me through and through. My skin, my gut, my body, getting stronger at the gym, all of that. So for me, I am making sure that every day I do walk across the street to the beach. I feel like that makes me more calm. I feel like that grounds me. There is evidence in that whole earthing grounding thing. And it just makes me feel so good. One of my things on my list, I'm going to get into the list in a minute, but all those things make me feel more joyful, more calm. Um, and so I, I also do this other activity I want to share with you with my husband that actually makes you figure out what brings you joy, what makes you happy. And that is what if you wrote out your perfect 
day. Have you ever done this exercise? It is so cool. I remember when my husband asked me years ago, he's like, we're going to write out our perfect day. I'm like, but today's perfect. He's like, that's cute. Yes, but we need to also continue to dream. We need to also continue to want more and desire, which goes back to episode one. If you haven't listened to that, listen to it, please. And that is about saying yes to you. In that episode, I say, I remind us that like so many times as women, we forget to want to desire. We shut down our, what we want in our lives. We shut down our goals. We shut down our wants and our needs. And we say, I'm good. When deep inside, we do want more, but we're not willing to say it. Or we feel like that'll make us less grateful or something like that, at least for me. Um, And so my husband had me do this and it was the coolest thing. It's writing out your perfect day without holding back. What, write this down, like write out my perfect day, put this on your notes of your phone. And if you're doing it now or later, either one works, but no holding back, right? So what, what if, what would it be like in your life if anything at all was possible? Anything at all was possible from the minute you open your eyes to you closing your eyes, laying your head on your pillow. Like what if anything was possible? What would that day look like? Where are you? Who are you with? Like, what is happening in your life? That's a good way to actually go and say, wow, now I can create my joy list from that. And from that list, I can go and take those actions and make my life more joyful, make me more joyful, have that perfect day, have that life that I want. Don't, please don't ever tell yourself, well, that's not possible. That's that's so dreamy. That, that won't work for me. Yes, it will. All of us. I think that's just fear that holds us back. That's old beliefs that hold us back. That's um, maybe we're still working on feeling worthy, but you are worthy. I want you to know you are here, you are breathing, you're amazing. And so you deserve to dream. You deserve to make this joy list. You deserve to have your perfect day. And so what's on your list? What would be on your joy list? How can you start enjoying your days more? Like what would that start with? What would your day start with? Would it be quiet time, prayer time in the morning? Would it be watching the sun rise each day? Would it be watching the sunset every night? Would it be going to the gym? Would it be doing yoga, meditating? Would it be, I'm trying to think of different things that bring me joy. All of those bring me joy. And those are ways that I are making, I'm making myself start my day like that. Instead of running ragged, taking care of everybody else and feeling depleted, which many of us do, right? Maybe it is going to the beach with your kids. Maybe it's going to the lake, the river. Maybe it's uh, hanging out more with your family, doing something fun each week with your friends. Maybe it's baking with your kids. Maybe it's grilling outside this summer with your family, having friends over for a dinner party. Maybe it's laying by the pool, soaking up the sun. Maybe it's traveling. Maybe it's taking a road trip. Maybe it's visiting family you haven't seen in a while. Maybe it's helping another with something. Many times we, I mean, for me, for sure, when I help someone else in need, that brings me joy. So maybe all of these things happen for you. Actually, recently, my mom, who's 83 and amazing, mother of nine, grandma to 13. I hope I got those numbers right, mom. I mean, I know about the nine, (laughs) but she listens to this. Of course, my mom's my biggest fan. Love her so much. Shout out to my mom. She actually just spent like two weeks cooking and baking at a retreat for a bunch of people. And it brought her so much joy. Like when I would talk to her on the phone or she would leave me a voice memo or even a text, I could hear the joy in her voice. And was she exhausted? Yes. Was she working hard? Ah, That woman takes her food seriously. And when she says yes to something, she says yes, she goes all in. But it brought her so much joy. And because of that, she was energized. She was happier. And when she's happier and more energized, like all of us, we're healthier and we're just more fulfilled. So do those things that bring you joy. Please, life is way too short to wait for joy to come to us. We have to create it, right? So what is on your joy list? You, We would love for you to share on our Instagram what brings you joy or in our Facebook group or We would love to hear, I mean, what brings you joy and what you are putting into action this summer. And like I said, when you do that, um, as you continue to do the things that bring you joy, all of a sudden you're like, you're into the fall months and you're like, I'm still feeling joy. I'm still taking care of me. I'm doing things that fuel me and feed my soul. And it just feels so good. 
It is intentional, right? It does take energy. It takes a little planning. It takes maybe getting out of our comfort zone. It takes uh, moving around our priorities, just like I said in episode one about saying yes to us. When we say yes to us, we then have more energy and all of that to really grow, to grow from within. And when we grow from within, many things on the outside change. I, I know this to be true because it's happened to me. But what I want for you is to become the most joyful person you know. Right now, you might be thinking, I know this joyful person and I, I just don't know if I can be her. Yes, you can. It is a decision. It is a choice. Everything in life is a choice, is a deci- decision. Many times it is just changing our daily schedule, changing our plans, believing in ourselves, knowing that we have what it takes to make this joyful life come true to experiencing a life with more fun and joy, being more vibrant, it's all, being more vibrant and more energetic and being that person that maybe you're thinking of right now who has all that joy, you're going to become her too. Your future self, I always talk about that, is a more joyful person. So go after it. Go be that girl. So create your, not your summer bucket list, but your summer joy list and then Go check those things off. You, my friend, are so worth it. So if right now you're like, no, I can't. My kids are running me crazy, Molly. They're home for months. Oh my gosh. (laughs) Like I'm too, you know, I'm taking care of a older parent or, you know, all these things. Go and just do small things each day that will bring you joy then. And then maybe make, do one big thing each week. But It doesn't have, like I always say, it doesn't have to be these huge things. It could be little things that just like, yes, that felt good. I want you to feel good. And when we feel good, then we feel more excited about ourselves. We love ourselves more. And when we love ourselves more, we're going to want to go take more actions that make us a more whole human. And I want that for you. Again, I am so grateful that you are here to join me for episode two. And I want you to go and create this list. Go make it happen. Take the time and Again, we would love if you shared this episode with friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We're so, so happy, like I said, that you're here. This is a new podcast, so share it, give a review, and I can't wait to see you next time. We have so many cool episodes to come, and we have some really cool guests coming up too. You're going to love. So again, my wish for you is that you do more of what makes you happy, that you are healthy, that you live life boldly, and that you remember how awesome and truly powerful you are. All right, I'll see you next time.